Hey guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to my life on wheels. So guys, today I am going to be doing another cooking video in the back of the van. I have a new setup here I want to show you guys and then I'll get into what I'm going to be cooking today. Check out my new setup. Alright guys, today I am going to be fixing some beefy Louisiana dirty rice. So I went to Walmart and I got this Norcasian dirty rice packet. And I also bought some ground beef. And basically what I'm going to do is season the ground beef. I bought two new seasonings. Uh, neither of them are relevant to this dish, but I'm going to season the ground beef up with one of them. I bought them because they were on sale for two for five dollars and they were uh, large. So this is the poultry season. It's a southern blend. And then I have the steak season, which is a Canadian blend. I thought they were a pretty good deal for two for five dollars. These things are probably going to last me forever. So what I'm going to get done doing now is I'm going to start seasoning up this ground beef and then I, I bought some two small shallots instead of a big onion because I would waste the onion. So I bought two of these small shallots. They're kind of like in the onion family anyway. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and season this ground beef up and then get that in the pot and then I'll check back with you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, I seasoned up the ground beef already. Now I'm just going to throw it into the pan here. Nice little scissor to it. I'm going to chop it up a little bit because I don't want it to be too chunky because I am going to mix it in with the rice once I get the rice done. So I'm going to chop it up a little bit and I'm also going to add a little more seasoning into it. I'm going to add a little more seasoning to it. Now that I have it in a pot, it's a little easier to add the seasoning to it. Alright guys, I'm going to throw the top on here. And I'm going to let that get done. In the meantime, I'll check back with you guys once the ground beef has browned and ready to be taken out of the pot. And then I'll move on to the rice. Alright guys, check back with you guys in a few minutes. Hey guys, the uh, ground beef is browning up really good. I went ahead and threw the uh, shallots in there. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up with the ground beef and give them a little time to go ahead and soften up. Uh, the ground beef should be done by then. Just give them a couple minutes. I see a little bit of red still in the uh, ground beef. So we get that. Get that a couple more minutes and then we'll get this out of here and start on the rice. Alright guys, I'll check back with you in just a few more minutes. Uh, I'm only going to keep this on here for another minute or so and then I'll get going on the rice. Alright guys. Alright guys, the rice is coming along really well. Let's take a look at it. Just giving it a quick stir, as you can see, in another couple minutes, it should be. Looking good, looking good. Looking good, guys, looking good. I'm gonna let that go ahead and simmer for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to combine the ground beef in there with it, and it looks like it's in the makings of being a really good and tasty meal. Um, I had to season the ground beef a little bit more because I was tasting it and I decided to just put some of my traditional uh, spices in there, my regular salt, pepper and my Asian five spice in there to uh, 
amp up the flavor a little bit. All right, guys, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes and hopefully I'll have it all done and finished for you guys and show you guys the end result. All right, guys, it is all done. Let's take a look at it. Looks so good. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste this. As a matter of fact, I am going to taste it now. If I can get it out there. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, a little more. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness now. You guys know that I give you my honest opinion on the food that I cook. Ah, uh, this is the best. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I put some red hot pepper flakes in there and that's probably why I'm getting all choked up right now. But guys, this tastes so good. Adding those extra or my traditional spices in, my salt and pepper and my mm, Asian uh, fire spice. It just amped up that flavor, and I'm telling you guys now, I got rice all between my fingers. This is, um, I, I'm just gonna get a little bit more, guys. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can wait until lunchtime at night at work. Oh boy. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that has made me start sweating. <clears throat> okay guys that is going to do it for today's video uh my beefy louisiana dirty rice menu uh from off the package of the noor dirty rice it was really really easy this probably was the easiest meal that i fixed since i've been uh cooking in a van but that's gonna do it guys take one more look at it That's that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <clears throat> Alright guys. <clears throat> oh goodness, I'm all choked up still. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into this bowl so I can take this to work with me later on today. Uh, once again, as always guys, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I do appreciate it and I will see you guys in a few more days. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get a couple more little spoons for this. Alright guys, later. Alright guys, I have uh, taken the ground beef out of the pot and transferred it into this bowl right here. And now I'm about to uh, start on the rice. I already have the water boiling. Once that comes to a boil, According to the package instructions, I'm going to go ahead and uh, empty the content of this bag into the uh, pot there. Uh, turn the heat down low and let it simmer until the rice gets uh, soft and then it'll be done. And seems like it's really, really simple. So guys, uh, I'll check back with you in a little bit as soon as I get the rice in and the rice gets done. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it all in this bowl right here because I think this is a little bit bigger than the pot. I don't know how much the uh, rice is going to fill the pot up and then I have to also combine the ground beef in it. So I'm going to mix it up in here and I'm also going to take it to uh, work anyway for dinner tonight. So alright guys I'll check back with you once I get the rice in and it's done and I'll show you guys the end results. See you in a few. Think about all the time, think you may need what? all of mine. Hate to say, you know the love is blind. I'm about to see, I close my eyes.